Oh, man. Oh, how y'all feeling today? How are y'all feeling today, today, today? Um, Man, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm low-key nervous. Okay, I'm low-key nervous. This is my first episode uh, of the Say Yes podcast. So let me let me just introduce myself, okay? Uh, my name is Jalen. You know what I'm saying? My name is Jalen. Welcome to the Say Yes podcast. I do have another channel called The Pen TV, but I decided to get rid of that channel and strictly focus on spreading the word of God on this channel, okay? If y'all don't know why this is called the Say Yes Podcast, it's because in 2024, it's, th- it's time that we start saying yes to God's calling on our lives. So, yeah, man, I'm just saying yes to what he called me to do because I'm not going to lie. I've been running away from it for a little minute now, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just finally saying yes, you know what I'm saying? And, again, I'm I'm doing this is, like, totally new to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I guess I'm nervous because it's like, I don't, this role that God is calling me in is a role that is, like, it's scary, but again, it's like, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? To evangelize to people, to preach to people, to point people to Jesus. But it's just like, man, I got to really just spend so much time in his word because, bro, I don't want to lead y'all astray. And only that, I want to grow spiritually myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm not getting his word because I just want to lead y'all. No, I need to grow spiritually myself. But uh, enough of that, you know what I'm saying? I just, I hope that you guys stick around, you know what I'm saying? So all my all my Spotify listeners, Apple Music listeners, stick around, you know what I'm saying? Stick around, because we're going to be talking about some stuff that 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 the world is struggling with, particularly this generation, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be talking about a lot of things that the world is struggling with, um, but I'm going to try to stay more focused on the generation that I'm in, which is in Z, Gen Z. So yeah, without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe if you are on YouTube, and I guess Spotify and Apple Podcast listeners, I guess, like, rate the podcast, and let me know what y'all think about it. Also, follow me on all social media platforms down below. Uh, my Instagram Instagram is Jalen underscore golden. So yeah, just go ahead, shoot me a DM. You know what I'm saying? We could chop it up. We could talk. You feel me? But today I want to talk about something that a lot of people deal with, which is the, the, I don't want to say it is necessarily a sin to do this, but a lot of people, they struggle with this in their everyday day life and it's complaining. Okay. It's strictly complaining y'all. We complain so much. Actually, before I finish that, I want to let me grab a Bible real quick. Let me grab my Bible real quick because it's a story in the Bible that is particularly used for complaining. Or at least I like the story. You know what I'm saying? I like the story in the Bible that is used for complaining. But I'm gonna show y'all the definition of complaining real quick because I actually written it down. So the definition of complaining, just in case that people don't know, is the expression of dissatisfaction or annoyance about something. You know what I'm saying? So when you complain. This is a problem when people complain. When people are complaining, they're basically saying, look, God, you're not giving me enough. I don't have enough. So I'm going to complain about this and I'm tired of living or I'm I'm not satisfied with what you have put in my life, what you have placed in my life. I'm not satisfied with that. That's basically what you're saying to God when you complain. Because when we are living this life and we're walking our uh, walk with God, a lot of times we'll pray for something. And when God give us that thing, we will still complain about that thing. How can you pray for something and still complain about what you pray for? You the one that prayed for. God bless you with what you whatever it is that you pray for. And now you're complaining about it. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to talk about this because, bro, I struggle with complaining. You know what I'm saying? Like we complain about our job. But we don't realize that we can be in so much, like so many different, um, we can be in a way worse situation. Okay. We could be in a way worse situation, but yet we are continuing to complain about our situation. Uh, like we, we complain that we don't have enough money. We complain that we don't have enough of this, so we don't have enough of that. But then again, it's like, man, it's people out here that's literally praying to be in your position. But yet you complaining about your position because you feel as if you don't have enough. Okay, you feel like you don't have enough. Now, it's a um, it's a story in the Bible that I want to tackle real quick. And I'm not going to read the entire story because it is a pretty lengthy story. Uh, but this is Numbers, okay? This is Numbers chapter 11. And a lot of people may know this story. But I'm going to just start off in the beginning. I'm going to just like, kind of skip around a little bit. So let me let me do how the pastors be doing it. If you got your Bibles with you, you know what I'm saying? Turn to Numbers 11. Uh, say amen when you're there. All right, all right, all right, all right. Amen, amen. You feel me? That was so corny. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, there, I'm just nervous. I'm talking too much. Okay. Anyways, um, the people complained to Moses. 
Soon the people began to complain about their hardship, and the Lord heard everything they said. Then the Lord's anger blazed against them, and he sent a fire to rage among them, and he destroyed some of the people in the outskirts of the camp. So first thing first, if we look at that passage right there, right here it say, some soon the people began to complain. And then how did that make the Lord feel? And the Lord heard everything they said. Then the Lord's anger blazed against them, and he sent a fire to rage among them, and he destroyed some of the people in the outskirts of the camps. That shows that shows us that God does not like complaining. God does not like when people complain. Now, I wouldn't say that God don't like when people complain, but when you are complaining amongst each other and you're not taking your complaints to God, that's when it becomes a problem. See, a lot of times we complain to our friends. Oh, man, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm tired, I'm tired of that. I'm tired. And we complain to them, but we're not taking our complaints to God. But look, we're going to get deeper into the story. So uh, right here, I'm skipping down a little bit, but and the people of Israel also began to complain. Oh, for some meat, they exclaimed. We remember the fish we used to eat for free in Egypt. And we had all the cucumbers, melons, leeks, onions, and garlic we wanted. But now our appetites are gone. All we ever see is the manna. Now, the people, a lot of times when we are complaining, we're not realizing what God is doing in our lives. See, God is taking us from somewhere where we was distressed, where where we was we was hurt, we was depressed, we was all these different things. God is taking us from these places to bring us to a new kingdom, a new place, a new paradise. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but a lot of times we're not looking at it that way. We're looking at it like, man, I had this and I had that and I had this. And we're complaining about where God is taking us to, but we're not even knowing what God truly taking us to because we're so focused on complaining. We're so focused on looking on the past. See, these people, they was looking at the past. They didn't realize that God was taking them away from something that wasn't for them that they didn't, that they didn't deserve. He's taking them so he's taking them from this one place so they so he could bring them to a new place but they didn't see that so they complained amongst each other now let's keep reading real quick um right here um it's uh, right here moses heard all the families standing in the doorways of their tents whining and the lord became extremely angry so moses was also very ag uh, aggravated and moses said to the lord why are you why are you treating me your servant so harshly have mercy on me what did i do what did i do to deserve the burden of all these people did I give birth to them? Did I bring them into this world? Why did you tell me to carry them in my arms like a mother carries, uh, like a mother carrying a nursing baby? How can I carry them to the land you swore to give their ancestors? Where am I supposed to get meat for all these people? They keep whining to me, saying, "Give us meat to eat." I can't carry all these people by myself. The load is far too heavy. If this is how you intend tend to treat me just go ahead and kill me do me a favor and spare me the misery first of all that john made me laugh i was like dang moses is like literally fed up with this john he said just do me a favor and kill me lord <laughs> like just save me the misery that junk had me cracking up but i want you, i want to read this one more part and then i'm done i want to read this part right here where uh 16 then the lord said to moses i just want to stop right there I, the reason why i start right there is because like I said, uh, like I said, we complain amongst each other. When we complain amongst each other, that don't do nothing for us. But when we take our complaints to the Lord, the Lord will answer us. See, you see how they was complaining amongst each other? That didn't do nothing for them. All that did was make the Lord angry. But when Moses complained to the Lord, see, he complained to the Lord. He took his complaints to the Lord, and that's when the Lord responded to him. So the, the question is, why do we complain? Why do we complain so much about where we at in our life? I, I feel like we complain so much where we at in our life is because we always want more. We always want more. Adam and Eve had every single tree in the garden. But guess what? They wanted that one tree. That one tree they wanted. But they had every other tree to eat from. But they want that one tree. See, that's the problem right there is that they wanted that one tree. They, they We always want more. God give us so much, but yet we always crave for more. We we see other people doing good in life, and we crave for what they have. So we complain about what we have. But what you don't know is that what God, how can God bless you with more when you already complain about the little that he gave you? You know what I'm saying? We complain so much and not realize that our situation is better than a lot of other people's situation. I may not be the richest. I may not have the nicest car. I may not have this. I may not have that. But then we got to look at our life like this. At least I have a car. 
At least I have food. At least I have a job that sustains me. At least I have something. Like, I have something in this life, but yet we complain, 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 complain. All complaining does is make us hate our situation even more. And sometimes we don't even realize that a lot of times in our life, we put ourselves in certain positions. We put our, we Because we walked outside the will of God, we chose to do, go this way that put us in this position. Now it's going to take us longer to get to where God has taken us to because we because we went outside his will to say, you know what, I want to do this instead. And then we complain about our situation. But hold on, brother, you got yourself in the situation. How you go complain about a situation when you got yourself into the situation? God, God wanted you to go this way, but you disobeyed him and you said, no, God, I want to go this way. So since you went on your own understanding, God said, OK, he honors your free will. Now, that doesn't mean that God is not going to come after you. You know what I'm saying? God going to always redirect you as a GPS would. He will always redirect you, but you got to be willing to want that redirection. But a lot of times we just go on and we continue on our path and we just continue to complain, continue to complain, continue to complain. Bro, complaining is so bad, fam. It is bad. Okay, it is truly bad and we need to stop. We need to stop, especially us young folks. We see other people succeeding. It, it don't Just because you see them succeeding, that doesn't mean that your turn is not coming. And guess what? They're succeeding in materialistic stuff. How you 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 complaining about your situation, but look at your situation, look at their situation. Let's put an example out. How can I complain about what this person has? He got all this, he got all that, and I only got this. But the one thing that I have that a lot of other folks don't have, he may got all the cars, he may got all the shoes, he may got all the clothes, but he ain't got the Holy Spirit living inside him. I got the Holy Spirit living in me, but I'm still complaining about my situation. If we was really speaking logical sense, my situation is even better than his situation because he's missing the love and the and the uh, revelation of Jesus in his life. But I received that. That's not to say I'm better than him, but I shouldn't complain about my situation because I may not have all the greatest materialistic stuff, but the Bible. The Bible tells us what profits a man if he gains the whole world but loses one and only soul. See, that's all his peace is. It's that he got all these cars, clothes, and money. That's his peace. But I got true peace. I may not have the things that he have, but I got a, a level of peace in me that I can't explain to nobody. That means that I'm, I, I could go through a situation of being broke or being negative, but yet I got peace. He lose all that right now, he ain't got no peace because that was his peace. So. Let's understand and let's look at our life and say, look, we need to stop complaining to others. If you want to complain about something, complain it, complain about it and take it to the Lord. The Bible tells us that when we lay all our burdens onto him, he shall give us rest. And guys, I'm not saying this like I'm perfect. I complain. I be complaining myself at times. Now, I don't complain like as, as much as I hear other people complain, but I may complain when I'm irritated. Oh, man, I'm tired of this job, man. They always, I'm always complaining about something. But even when we complain about our jobs, then the Bible tells us work as if you're working unto the Lord and not for men. So we're, so we're complaining because we're looking at it like, dang, man, I'm talking to myself right now. Look, the, the bro, this is, this is like, man, this is good because I'm, I'm speaking to myself and it's just, this junk hitting me. We're complaining about a job, but the Bible tells us to, Work as if we're working unto the Lord and not for uh, and not for men. So we're complaining because we're looking at our life like, man, I'm working for a man. I'm working for as the as the as the culture say, I'm working for the white man. No, you're not. You're working for the Lord. You're working for the Lord because the Lord placed it on this man's heart to start this business. This is the Lord's business, not that man's business. He he may not be saved, but he doesn't even know that the Lord placed it on his heart to start this company. So you're working for the Lord. You're serving another person's vision. That, and that's a whole nother topic for another day. But I'm just saying, y'all, as believers in Christ, we need to learn how to stop complaining. We need to do better when it comes to complaining, y'all. We need to do better. We complain about everything, man. And, and I know the Lord is just getting angry at us because it's like, why are you still complaining? I done did so much for you, and yet you still want to complain because you don't have one thing. I done got you out that car accident. I done got you a new car. I done got you this. I done got you that. I done got you a house. 
I don't, I don't restore your relationship with your mother, your father, and yet you still want to complain about the small things that I see. We see the reason why we complain because we too focused on what we don't have rather than what we do have. See, we so focused on what God is not doing yet instead of what He already has done. So why continue to complain if God has already done so much, but you focus on that one little thing He didn't do yet? Ah, God, you didn't do this yet. I don't complain. And then we just continue to complain amongst each other. We need to understand that our friends and our family is not God. They can't change our situation. The more we complain to them, the more we go continue to keep complaining. But the one, the, the moment you give your burden, your complaint to the Lord, what did it say right there? What did, what did it say right there in Numbers 11, uh, 16? Then the Lord said to Moses, see, Moses didn't go to the people and say, yeah, y'all right. We need meat. We need this. We need the, see, Moses didn't do that. He said, Lord, <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> God, what you, <laughs> what you doing now? I, I didn't ask for this. These people was, te- these people was terrible. Like, I'm just putting it in my own words. Like, that's, that's probably what really Moses was doing. Like, man, look, Lord, these people, man, I, look, I'm aggravated. I'm irritated. You need to get your folks. They, they talking about me, you ain't got me. Man. How do you expect me to lead them to the promised land? And these people can't complain. Like, I know the Lord was, I, I know Moses was frustrated along, among with, uh, among with uh, the Lord. They both was frustrated at these people complaining. So that's why, that's, that's why I really want to just speak on today, y'all. Is that like, we just need to stop complaining. Okay. And don't, don't, don't think that, oh man, like you're perfect. You're this, you're that. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I have my moments where I complain at times too, because sometimes life can be life and sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But we got to know what we have in Christ. The best thing that we have, see, we complain about, we complain about life. We complain about the things of this world, but the best thing that you can ever have is Jesus Christ. That's the best thing you can ever have. There's no reason why we should be complaining about a job. Or why we should be complaining about this person or that person. As long as we got the Holy Spirit living in us, there's no reason why we should complain. Because we got the best gift that was ever to be given to humanity. And that's, and that's the, uh, the blood of Jesus shedding on that cross. That's the best gift that humanity ever received. Donald Trump wasn't the best gift. Biden wasn't the best gift to some of y'all. That, like it, You know what I'm saying? Like That wasn't the best gift. The best gift that we ever received was the blood of Jesus. And and we and we complain so much. We complain so much about the things of this world. Why? Why? Why do we? Why do we complain? Let it be. Let it be. Let let all that complaining go. Let it go. You you want to complain about something, you better you better take it to God. Don't don't be complaining to your girl. Girl, why he do this? Why he do that? Why, girl, he didn't even come home. Like, like, don't be doing all that. You say, hey, look, Lord, husband didn't come home last night. You handle him. Because if I handle him, I, it's going to be a, you, you take it to God. For my men, don't be, gee, why, why she, why, why she bugging, gee? Like, she always doing this shit, always doing that. I'm just sick of this, bro. Like, I'm finna leave. Like, man, take it to God. Look, look, father, I ain't going to lie. Your daughter is tripping and she's irritating my soul. Can you please get her? You know what I'm saying? Like you, you take your complaining to the Lord and I'm going to work on that. I'm going to actually practice that in my everyday life. When I do this podcast and as I'm starting on this podcast, this is not a podcast where I'm not going to apply certain things that I speak to to, to myself. Like I'm like, this is not a podcast where I'm not going to do Like I'm going to apply these things because I know that the Lord is speaking through me. Speaking through me to y'all, but also speaking through me to myself. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, let's um, let's do better. You know what I'm saying? Let's stop complaining, and let's let's just do better as a body of Christ. You know what I'm saying? As a body of believers, let's just do better. We got this, y'all. We don't gotta complain. When you got Jesus Christ on your side, you ain't gotta complain. You done got everything. You may not got everything in the physical realm, but boy, you got them riches and waiting on you in heaven, man. Come on. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got. You got the you got the free gift of salvation, but you complain about a car? 
You got the ticket to heaven. Your name is written in a book of life. But you complain about what that person said to you because you because they they made you mad because they jealous of you. They jealous of you because they see the light that shines through you and they trying to figure out how to get there. Come on, man. You complaining? We 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 complain about all these different man. Look at us. We got we got the we got authority. We got authority in Christ. We we able to lay the hands on because we have the Holy Spirit. No, we able to lay the hands on sick and heal sick. We able we able to cast out demons out of people. Not not based on us. This is not our works. This is nothing but the Holy Spirit within inside of us. You filled with the Holy Spirit, you able to do all those things, as the Bible tells us. But we complaining because because our job is tripping and they're not giving us the time and they're not giving us the pay that we need. We complain about that. Man, come on, y'all. We gotta stand up as a body of Christ, bro. I love y'all, man. I know I look, look, I know the podcast is short. You know what I'm saying? But it's still a podcast. It's still a podcast. But man, I truly love y'all. Um I I I really do. I really love y'all. You know what I'm saying? So if you are new to the channel, welcome to the Say Yes podcast. Uh, I'm gonna try to be posting every single week. Hopefully every Monday, Tuesday ish, I can uh you know post or every Wednesday I may post. So yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know what my posting schedule is, but lo- most likely probably every Wednesday. So yeah, man, stay on the lookout. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, if you are on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or anything like that, go ahead and rate the podcast. Let me know what y'all think about it, and let me know what topics y'all want me to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm just look. I'm just leaning on the Holy Spirit. You feel me? I'm just leaning on the Holy Spirit. So whatever topic y'all want to talk about, I try to cover it. But if God say talk about something new, then boy, boy, I'm going to talk about something new. You know, I don't, why did I just say baby boy? That was just I don't know. That was kind of sus. But anyways, uh, man, I love y'all. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all listening to the kid. And yeah, man, it's been your boy Jalen. I don't know what to say. You know, I said this is so awkward. You feel me? But it's been your boy Jalen, man. Uh, it's been the Say Yes podcast. I love each and one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.